Hello. Well, my first question requires me to tell you about my name, my job title and position. I'm Amalia Koldia. I'm a research scientist um, in the Quantum Materials Group in Oxford. Uh, I have lots of other titles, but I think this is the most important one. Okay, the next thing I need to tell you about a quantum materials, what it is and what it's used for. So a quantum material is a wonder material that requires quantum mechanics to explain its behavior. There are many materials out there which we don't understand how they work and we are working on them to be able to find a model, an explanation for their behavior. They have unexpected properties like superconductivity, colossal magnetic resistance, that means their resistance changes uh, suddenly, when you apply a tiny amount of field, um, all sorts of other reorganization of matter, and we are, by experimenting and developing theory at the same time, we are trying to understand their working because one day they might be useful in lots of applications where these properties are necessary. Okay, so can you summarize your research in one sentence? Well, uh, as I just told you earlier, my research is to understand quantum materials, is to explore them, starting from a wonder crystal, perfect organization of atoms, until we, we can map out their properties. And my particular area of research is to make quantum maps of their electrons. If you recall, the electrons are little charged particles in any metal. So we are quantum explorer, making the maps of these materials uh, and we use Fermi surfaces to map out their properties. So that's what we are trying to do. Why do you do research, this type of research? Well, as I said, the whole purpose of studying new materials is we hope that one day they will be useful. Among them, we are looking at superconductors. These are materials which conduct without any loss of uh, uh, electricity. So we would like to use those materials in lots of applications when we can uh, use them at room temperature. So uh, we hope that our research will, will revolutionize future devices and future application um, of quantum materials. What's the best part of your job? Well, it has to be discovering new things. So I think when you see something for the first time, uh, you are filled up with trepidation and you feel so honored to see that for the first time and to try to explain. So it's like last century, people were exploring new worlds. We feel that when we explore new material, we enter a new world. And probably this is one of the most exciting parts of my job. And I would say the second part is to to be surrounded by so many exciting people and young people who are um, driven by the same ideas and the same desire for discovery. How did you get to where you are now? Well, it's been a long road. I started in Transylvania, a small village. I came here to do my PhD and then I started uh, doing research and uh, I went to Bristol, I came back to Oxford, but um, I always was driven by understanding fundamental science and doing research, and um, that's how I got here. What do you do like, what would you like to do outside work? Well, outside work, I am a mum, so uh, I have to do what every mum has to do look of, uh, after her children, um, inspire them, hopefully, that maybe one day they will follow on our path, or maybe not. And um, I used to play football, um, but not anymore. Uh, and yes, I like to cook and uh, read and, um, and listen to music like anybody else. What one invention or discovery would you like to see in your lifetime? As many of my colleagues, I think we would like to understand room temperature superconductivity. 
it will be amazing if one day we can have levitating uh, trains in the city of Oxford, if we can have devices which dissipate no energy, uh, if we ca can have quantum computers working at room temperature, I feel this will be how the future might look like one day. And uh, we are working to get there. So thank you.